Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see record level security in Salesforce. In previous video we have seen object level security, field level security and then we have seen difference between permission sets and profile permissions. Now in this video we will see record level security in Salesforce. In the record level security, it restricts the user's access to the records even if user has object level permissions. Then we can manage the record level security in the following ways. OWD that means organization wide default, then role and role hierarchy, then sharing rules and then manual sharing. The video link of object level security, field level security and the permission sets I have given in description box, you can go through it. Then coming to our topic. So basically, what is organization wide default in Salesforce? The OWD is a part of data security and the record level access. Then it has three access levels, private, public read only and public read write. And then system admin can access all records even OWD is private. So what are the uses of these access levels? Let's see. Now using this chart we will see access of OWDs, private, public read only and public read write. These are the access of OWD and then we have three users A, B and C. So these are the number of records which owned by these particular users. Now where we can apply these OWDs? These OWD we can apply on particular objects. For example, in XYZ object there are 10 records. Now if the OWD of that particular object is private, then this A user can see only record which owned by himself. Then B user can see records owned by himself and like that C user can also access the record which owned by himself. Now let's see what is public read only. If the OWD of particular object is public read only, then this A user can access owned by himself. Then the other 7 records, the 3 records of B user and 4 records of C user. That means this 7 record is only read only form for the A user. Same for the B user and then here C user has 4 records so he can access that means he can read and write 4 records and 6 records of A and B user he can only read it. And now if the OWD is public read write all users can see all other users record and they can also modify that. That means they have permission read and write also. Now quickly jump to the org and here I will demonstrate you how to apply this OWD access to an object. Now first I will navigate to the app and here we have bank account object. As I open this object and then select the list view of all views. Here you can see we have all owners records. These are the owners of this record which created by themselves. To check the OWD of particular object we need to navigate to the setup. For that click on gear icon then click on setup. And in the quick find box search for sharing settings. Here you can see under the security option we have sharing settings click on it. Now we are going to apply this OWD on custom bank account. For that to change the setting we need to click on edit button and then search for object where we want to apply these OWDs. Here you can see bank account. Now currently the OWD of bank account object is public read write. Now I am changing to private. And when we changing the default internal access to the private, the default external access should be private also. For that this bank account default external access set to be private. And then click on save button. Now let's see changed or not. Here you can see bank account. It takes time to changing as I refresh the page. Now here you can see the OWD of bank account is changed to private. Now let's navigate to the object. Because I am the system admin I can see all owners record. Now we will see login by other users whether they can see the other users record or not. For that navigate to the users. Click on gear icon, setup, in the quick find box search for user and then click on users. Now we have these active users and here I have created manager profile and then employee custom profiles. How to create custom profiles? The video link I have given in description box, you can go through it. And now I am login with Roy Abhijit users. As I click on login, now here you can see I have login with Abhijit Roy. As I click on bank account. And then in the list view select all list view. Now here you can see he can access only those record which owned by himself. Then as I open this record he also can edit this record. I am changing the date of birth and click on save button. 
and here you can see the date of birth has successfully changed. Now we will see login by other user. Here we also have records created by Emma Evans. I am login with this user and then click on bank account. In the list view all records. Here you can see the owner has changed. That means he can see only those records which owned by himself. Now we will change this OWD to the public read only. For that we need to log out this user. Without log out with this user system admin cannot change the access. For that I am log out this user and go to the sharing settings. Now as I click on edit button and then go to the bank account object and change the OWD to the public read only and then click on save button. Now you can see the OWD of bank account object has changed to public read only. Now again log in with another user. Here is Abhijit Roy. I am log in with this user. And as I navigate to the bank account, click on all list view. Now here you can see the Abhijit Roy can see all owner's record. And now he wants to edit the other user's record. Here you can see the Amit Singh. And this record owner is Evans. Now as I click on Amit Singh. And then as I click on edit button. Now I am changing this name. Let's say Alex Anderson and then click on save button. Now here is the error. You don't have the necessary privilege to edit this record because from the OWD for this object, we give the access of only read only. And now I am opening the record which owned by himself. That means the record owned by Abhijit. I am opening this record and then I am changing this name Alex and then click on save button. Now here you can see the change has saved. That means he can edit his own records. Now I am logging out this user and then we will see what if OWD of that particular object set to be public read write. For that click on edit button and change the OWD to public read write. Now click on save button and then log in with another user. I am logging with Abhijit bank account object all list view now i am changing this record which owned by evans as i click on it and then click on edit icon ketan roy then click on save button now see the record has successfully changed that means in the public read write we can see all owners record and even we can change that record also now i am log out with this user and then we will see this is role hierarchy of record level security. We have seen OWD. Now we will see roles, then sharing rules and then manual sharing. Now here is important thing when the OWD is private, then only the roles, sharing rules and then manual sharing comes to the picture. That means if the OWD is private and even we want to change the other owner's record, then only these other three mechanism comes to the picture. If the OWD is not private, then these three mechanism is not useful. Now we will see roles in the Salesforce. Here you can see roles and roles hierarchy. When the OWD is private and we want to access other owner record, then roles come to the picture. Here you can see CEO, manager and then employee. CEO can access manager and employee records. Then manager can access employees records and then employee can access only records which owned by himself. Now here is the definitions. It is a part of role hierarchy and control access to records. Then roles define the level of access of users have to records based on their position in their hierarchy. These are the positions like CEO, manager and employee. Then they don't control the access to apps, tabs or the objects. We have seen the permissions of apps, tabs and the objects then fields we can give from the profile. Now let's jump to the org. Here I will show you how to assign roles to the users and the hierarchy of role. For that in the quick find box search for the roles and then click on roles option. After that click on setup roles. Now here we can create the role hierarchy. To add the role you need to click on add button and then as you click on this plus icon it will expand. On the CEO position I need to assign any user. For that you can search for that user. Here I want to assign this user to the CEO position. For that select that user and click on add button. If you want to remove 
you can select it and then again click on remove button here i am adding this user to the ceo position and then click on save button the ceo role has been assigned to that particular user now to add the user of manager level for that click on assign button here i have already assigned two users here i am not changing anything then click on save button and now when we want to create new roles for that here you can see add role or you can edit the existing role here i am editing existing role for the employee role enter the label then enter the role name employee role and then this role reports to manager here we can select other role also but now this role needs to report to the manager and then role name as displayed on reports here we need to change to employee and then click on the save button now here you can see the employee role has created and i am assigning the users to this role here i am assigning this user to the employee role i am selecting this user and then click on add button and then click on the save now we have created new role and created role hierarchy now what is the use of these roles for that go to the sharing settings click on edit button and now i am changing the bank account owd to the private i am selecting this private and i am going to save this owd now we already seen if the owd is private then users can only see those record which owned by himself now here we have assigned one user to ceo position then one user to manager position and then one user to employee position now after the creating this role hierarchy according to this role definition even owd is private ceo can access managers and employee records then managers can employee records and employee can see only those record which owned by himself i am navigating to the users now we have m i evans on employee role then this user is ceo position and then roya bijit on manager position now as i log in with this manager and then click on bank account in the list view select all list view here i cannot see the other records that means the role hierarchy doesn't applied to apply this role hierarchy to an object again we need to navigate to the sharing settings then click on edit button here you can see grant access using hierarchies that means to apply this hierarchy we need to check this check box for that navigate to the bank account object grant access using hierarchy as we click on this check box then click on save button now here you can see the manager level role and i am logging with this manager role user then click on bank account and then select all list view now here you can see the abhijit roy this user is on manager position and he can see the mi evans records that means now he has privilege to access the records of lower level but he cannot the access of record who are the ceo level position now as i log in with this employee role clicking on login go to the bank account then all list view now he can see only those record which owned by himself now in this video we have seen record level security in salesforce in that i have explained owd in salesforce then roles and role hierarchy in owd i have explained public public read write and then public read only and what if the owd is private and we want to access other owners record for that we have roles and role hierarchy in salesforce in the upcoming videos we will see sharing rules and then manual sharing i hope you have got an idea about owd in salesforce then roles in salesforce if you like the video click the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you